What's up guys, so welcome back. This is gonna be the part two of the tutorial that I did a couple of days ago regarding tracking a live footage in After Effects and then bringing that track camera into Unreal Engine 4 through Maya. So I know Unreal Engine 4 is not Maya or 3ds Max, but if you wanna start compositing CG elements into live footage, you can technically do this. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today as to part two of the tutorial that I made recently. So with this thing here, you're going to need the Infiltrator demo, which if you go to your Epic Games launcher, you go to learn. There's a lot of free stuff here if you always want to play around. Uh, if you see right here, there's this thing called Infiltrator demo. Go ahead and download that and open it up because we are going to need it. I already have it opened here. Um, it takes a while because I do have an old, older graphics card, so I had this pre-opened. It took about five minutes or so for all the textures to be rendered. So if you go to lit, kind of see it looks pretty good uh, by default. Uh, we're not going to be messing around with the stuff here. All we're doing here is actually taking the 3D model that we need that we're going to composite. Because when I do tutorials, I try to give you guys as much free stuff as possible because I'm cheap, you know, I like stuff free. So I'm sharing with you some free resources that you can download as well for free, as much as I can, obviously. So if we go to the main content of the Infiltrator demo, if we go to Vehicles, Infiltrator 1, Death Blossom, we're gonna go to the meshes. You're gonna see this SK Infiltrator Death Blossom. This is what we're gonna transfer to our project in Unreal Engine 4 that we worked on in the part one. So with that being said, let's go ahead and right click this. We're gonna go to Asset Action. We're gonna migrate, press okay. And then we're gonna go to our Unreal Engine project. And it, it was the tracking tutorial that we made. And then we're gonna go to the content and just select folder. And that's gonna copy that model to that project. Additionally, what we're gonna need uh, are the animations that come with this mesh or this model. So that being said, click back, go back to Death Blossom, right click the animation, and then we're gonna go to, uh, I think migrate right here, sorry. And then we're gonna do the same thing, press okay, find that same exact project, Unreal project you have, go inside the content folder, and then press select folder, yes to all, and that's good to go. Now what we're gonna do is open the Unreal Engine 4 project we created in the part one of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this is where we left off from our last tutorial. Um, if you haven't seen it, go ahead, because if not, you're gonna be lost. Um, I'm actually gonna redo the steps of importing the FBX camera in Unreal Engine 4 so that you know you guys kind of get a refresher. So we're gonna change this to 24 FPS. We already have a sequence. Let's go ahead and create a new sequence. We don't have one, I guess I deleted it. Let's create a new one. And that's gonna open a new one. And we're gonna go to 24 frames per second because that's um, how much the 20, uh, that's how many frames per second my uh, 2D live footage is. And so we're gonna keep it that way. And then what we're gonna do now is actually create a camera and then we're gonna right click in the camera actor and then we're gonna go with uh import and then we're gonna go to that camera fbx we created from maya uncheck everything except for reduce keys import all right and now you're gonna see that there's camera movements there so that's good perfect that means it's working i am gonna change it to the point of view of my camera so it should be 16 9 it was a black magic camera so technically but let's see if this will work to 69 digital film you're gonna see that the camera is now moving and you're gonna see that a lot better here in a second so i'm gonna go default view and what we're gonna do now is actually press g so i can hide that let's go ahead and drag and drop our vehicle death blossom into the scene okay there's death blossom there you go. I'm going to go back to my sequencer. I'm going to add Death Blossom to that. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Perspective, Cinema Camera Actor. And right now, I actually can't see Death Blossom. It's probably far away from the camera. I'm going to press G and find out where that camera is. It looks like... Oh, yeah, because it's spawning. Duh. So what I'm going to do instead is just put it in front of Death Blossom. So I'm going to delete this camera cut. 
boom, boom. We're just gonna go ahead and create a camera from scratch instead of using the sequencer. So cinema camera actor, go up, and we're just gonna, you know, make it face the little ship here. We're gonna go back, back as we can. And this is probably uh, one of the limitations of doing this in Unreal Engine 4 is because you can't actually see the background. You can't actually see the background plate right here in Unreal Engine 4 unless we use a composure. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we can actually just guesstimate where we want this little death blossom to be, right? But if you've been following my composure tutorial, you can use composure as kind of like a viewing method to kind of guesstimate where you want the CG element to be. But for this, we can kind of know that it's kind of like a front shot and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and add that camera to the sequencer, track, cinema camera actor, right click, import. We're going to import that camera FBX, same thing, boom. And now, where's that camera? I'll press G, I'm going to select it. All right, so now the camera is in the middle of the actual field. We're going to have to adjust our uh, CG element so that we can actually see it. All right, so if you go to Cinema Camera Actor, you can see that that's the view. You kind of see it moving. We just need to put our CG actor or our 3D element in front of this camera. So if you go to this, I'm gonna right click and we can do Snap Object to View. There you go. And then what we're gonna do is just move it back. There you go. Move it all the way back. And don't worry about this grid because we're gonna get rid of that just like that. So now if you see the camera is moving and it's tracked on the CG element that we have. And that's the beauty of it. We took a 2D image, a live action, imported a camera from that tracking using After Effects, and now it's right here. Okay, that's really fun. So let's go ahead and save it all. So that looks good and all, but that's kind of boring. And as, if you remember, we did import some animation. So if you go here, you see it kind of floating and it's gonna start animating. And what I'm gonna do is just use this animation. And now I'm gonna to have to move him again because with that animation key, he shifted a little bit. So here you go, there you go. Now the robot is actually animating. And I'm gonna try and just kind of transform him right here, I'm gonna twirl down. And I'm just gonna just move him around X, Y, Z. You know, and I'm gonna rotate him a little bit so he's kind of like facing us. Oop, not that way, not that way either, on the yaw, because it should look like that, like in front. So, boom, there you go, he's floating. I'm gonna move him down on the Z axis just a little bit. And we're kind of just guesstimating it here since we don't have a preview we're using composure, we're kind of just guesstimating. So here he goes, boom, that is so scary. And obviously, it just ends right there. Okay, so just for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna keep it right here. But as you can see, um, we do have a sky backdrop. So if we're trying to export this, it's not gonna work quite nicely because we have a blue sky. So what do we do next? What we're gonna do next is actually turn off the lights. So if we go press G, we're gonna go right here in the light source. I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna get away from uh, pilot view. I'm just gonna go right here. I'm gonna find that light. And that light is actually right here, the sun. And what I'm gonna do is just rotate that until it gets dark, okay? And after you turn the lights off, I mean, you can see that we're kind of controlling the sun here. Sorry, okay. Kind of controlling the sun. We're gonna turn it off, it's blue. And then the next thing we're gonna do is actually turn off the sky sphere. So we go back to Unreal Engine 4, and it looks like we're actually gonna have to delete that. And let's see if that works. Go to Window Again, Cinematics, Movie Render Queue. We're gonna go back right here. I want a PNG sequence. We're gonna do Output Alpha, Output right here. We're gonna change the name. Sorry about that. Let's go back here. Uh, directory, we're gonna do CG Element 2. Boom, go back, press Accept, and then Render Local. And there you go. Now it's black, and that's what we want. Now, if we go back to After Effects, we're gonna go back to our tracking right here. Let's go ahead and input that file. We're gonna go to CG Element 2 right there. We're gonna right click, interpret footage, main. We're gonna go to 24 frames per second. We're gonna go um, interpret the footage, okay, so it matches our scene here. We're gonna drag and drop our CG element, and there you go. Look at that. 
now you can impress your mom and your mom can send you to film school. But like, hey mom, check this out. I like totally created a CG element and composited it in um, you know, After Effects and stuff. But yeah, that's really cool. It has motion blurs and everything, but obviously what you're asking yourself right now is shadows. And since we are doing this in a compositing way, we can just duplicate this and we can just do a quick shadow here. So if I go to effects, whenever it loads, Okay, so you know what, let's do, yep, right there, drop shadow on the second one. And then we're just gonna pretty much have it on the ground. And then you can also, if you want, depending on where the sun's coming from, you can also rotate it. So if I go shadow only, you can do the softness like that. And then you can technically turn it if you want, kind of like, on the floor so if we go to distance and then we just kind of like that now you have that shadow and CG element on top of your 2d element and obviously you can just color correct from that add a little bit of smoke and haze and now you have that CG element so with that being said guys I hope you guys learned something new today um, if you haven't checked out my road reel uh, entry my CGI road wheel entry go ahead and check it out. It's gonna be in the comments below I do have I believe the deadline is maybe in a week So if you can absolutely help me out make sure to vote for my CGI short film the blueprint uh, To support my channel because honestly I th The viewers are my only support. I don't have any paid promotion or anything like that So if you guys want to see more videos like this hit me up in the comments below and like always thanks for watching